Just in the last five or six years, there have been tremendous advances in what we know about the human genome and how variation in the human genome affects all sorts of diseases, susceptibility to diseases, and also our ability to respond to various medications or not, and in some cases, our susceptibility to getting severe adverse reactions to certain medications or not. Our new personalized and genomic medicine program is designed to essentially take these discoveries and move them into a clinical setting so that we could make a difference in everyday patient care. Now in our cardiology suites, when patients get a cardiac catheterization, we are actually doing a specific genetic test that will allow us to determine which antiplatelet agent is best for each patient. One size doesn't fit all when we think about treating cardiology patients with antiplatelet agents. Today, most often, aspirin and Plavix, clopidogrel, is used. But it turns out that um, a lot of patients don't respond very well to aspirin and clopidogrel. And so now, with genetic tests, we can better tell who is most likely to respond. And of course, we give those patients the medication. And in about 25% of the population, we could predict that they would not be very responsive to clopridogrel. And in those patients, we can prescribe an alternative medicine, which would be more effective. Most genetic tests can be done with a simple blood test. Uh, so we draw blood. Uh, usually, we don't have to draw any extra blood. It's, uh, we use the blood that has been drawn for other purposes. Uh, that blood is then taken to our new translational genomics laboratory, which we've set up here at the University of Maryland. And within about a four-hour turnaround time, we can return the genetic result to the doctor. Okay. I want you to make a fist, too. Make the doctor fist. uses this genetic information to decide what the best medication is for his patient. That information can be used in conjunction with other information, like uh, clinical information, and ultimately, it can be used to decide upon what the most effective medication would be for that patient. Although there's been a, a lot of excitement about personalized and genomic medicine by basic scientists and researchers who are making these discoveries, the translation of these discoveries into routine patient care has actually been somewhat slow. There are a number of reasons for that, but the bottom line is, is that there are very few centers now that are taking advantage of these genomic discoveries. The University of Maryland is among perhaps a handful or two in the country that are actually adapting and translating genomic discoveries into improved patient care. Our first initiative is to take this genetic test that will predict response to clopridogrel in patients with heart disease to a much more expansive program in which we will be doing a whole host of genetic tests to predict uh, response to many different uh, medications as well as susceptibility to different diseases. Uh, for example, the area of cancer genomics has advanced quite a lot and there are a number of genetic and genomic tests that can be done in patients with cancer to better predict which medications will be best for them. One of the things that has really enabled the University of Maryland to be leaders in this area is, is that we have a lot of genomics expertise that's right on this campus. The program in personalized and genomic medicine, for one, the Institute for Genome Sciences is another. And so we're able to essentially do all of the genetic testing right here on campus, which allows us a lot more control over the quality of the sequencing. It also allows us a much uh, more direct conduit towards taking that information right back to patient care.